All right, we've made it to Phuket and we are staying in the Patong Beach area. Normally, this is super lively. A lot of backpackers stay here. There's a bar street that we're gonna go and check out a little bit later on. But we thought, of course, the best way to explore a new place the way Gokshin and I like to do so is with a street food tour. There are plenty of street food stalls lined up everywhere here in Patong and especially here starting along the Patong Beach boardwalk area of sorts. So let's get going because Gokshin and I are definitely on the hunger side right now. But first, we wanted to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video. Aralel, but more on that later. Let's get back to the food tour. So we decided to sit at one of these places and the tradition here is to just sit on a mat right on the beach and they bring you your food to you from whichever cart you want. And we're waiting for Gokshi's lemon juice, of course, because she likes things sour and they keep making it sweet. Here it is. Kapunga. This place has a little bit of a picnic environment. It reminds me of my childhood in Turkey. We used to pack up stuff, go to the beach and like eat it there and they have their own sitting areas, some food stands have their own tables and chairs, but some have this like hat that they put it on the ground and go right on the beach, right by the sea, and it's just like such a nice beach environment and they make the fish fresh for you with the fresh juices. I started eating because we haven't had any food today. Quite challenging so far, but <laughs> we wanted to save some appetite. I'm so happy that we ordered the salad. We had it before in Turkey when Cha was visiting us in Istanbul and Yamun Sam was one of the best dishes and this is made with glass noodle and a seafood basically one of the most popular Thai salads glass noodle for life this is so good definitely better than the one that we tried in Turkey Try is that. it spicy? a little bit that's really good. Spicy enough, but I'm sure Coke is gonna put a little bit extra on. They're like, we can make it white people style for you. We're like, oh no. Thai style. <laughs> So we also got this awesome looking sea bass that, I mean, Gokche went on a whole fish. So we got a whole fish. You don't honestly. know how to cut it? Yeah, this is like a Gokche thing. Gokche, of course, is used to eating like this because this is how the fish gets served in Turkey. He doesn't like working on his food. They gave us two dipping sauces, one sweet, one spicy. So I'm gonna take a nice bite. Oh my God, it's so soft. Definitely fresh caught today and it tastes amazing. Wow. It's so juicy, so perfectly cooked, even this bird agrees. I hope it won't attack our food soon, but I don't mind sharing my food, but let me eat first because like I said, we haven't eaten anything so far. Outside part is crispy, just like how I like it. One thing that's different is they don't serve it with olive oil or lemon juice. And we finished the fish. You, you thought we were gonna be able to finish it, Steve? Well, you know, I was wrong for sure. We were definitely way hungrier than I thought we were. So I think we have room for a little bit more food maybe. So an ice cream guy walking by, I don't know, but we'll probably check out something more traditional Thai, walk this off a little bit and enjoy the beautiful weather and the beach, it's awesome here. All right, so after coming up from Patang Beach, you could walk up Rainbow Road like we just did. It's beautiful street art. One more block over from Rainbow Road on this busy corner with a lot of motorbikes is a little spot called Noodle Soup Restaurant, actual translation, and they make four amazing different types of noodle soups along with a mean Thai-style fried rice. We just got our food, can't wait to dig in, and Gok Jay, of course, got another big coconut drink, and I'm waiting for my Thai-style iced tea. Really excited to try some of this food right now. They have so many different noodle options. There's egg noodle, there's rice, and they have the glass noodle as well, so I pick glass noodle, which is Again, my favorite. They make the tom yum soup with either chicken or pork, and since I don't eat pork, we choose the chicken option. So I'm very excited to try this. It smells so good, and they just make it in front of you with all of the fresh ingredients. I even saw them chopping the chicken, which was like so exciting. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and dig in because I'm so hungry. If you don't like spicy, it might be a little bit rough for you, but this is so good and I love spicy food, so this is just phenomenal. I've been eating tam yum soups super frequently ever since I got to Thailand, but this is one of the best ones. There was another one in Bangkok that we love so much. I would say this is number two and best so far in Thailand. The chicken's really nice, a little bit more tender, a little bit more soft, but the noodles are amazing. Those are some of the best class noodles I've ever tried. They work perfectly with the soup. Check this out, like the sprouts, they got the morning glory in there. It's really, really freaking good. Should we add more spice or this is good? I think you could add more spice. I'm starting to get the hang of this. <laughs> I think you could add more spice. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Thai style fried rice with prawns. Check it out. 
chop some cucumbers, a little bit of lime, a little bit of egg in there. Let's dig in. You're just gonna have to deal with creaky voice steam a little bit, but yeah, I love when they mix egg into the rice like this. It's gonna be really good, I know it already. They sneak it in there. Didn't even realize it at first, but there's like little bits of carrots, celery. It's not like overly fried either, like you'd find in the US, which I really, really appreciate. I am going to squeeze the lime a little bit more because I'm crazy like that. Wow, really good. And just like Steve said, it's not overly fried, it's like just fried mound, and it doesn't make me feel guilty about eating fried food either. I'm trying to pound now. Every day, all day. Pounds and coconut juices just go together. All right, we are stuffed from that amazing meal, so we're gonna go walk it off, head over to a night market in a little bit, but explore more of the Patanga area in the meantime. Before we continue further on our food tour, we wanted to quickly talk about today's video sponsor, Aralo. When we're on the go in Thailand or another country, it's important we stay connected so we know how to get from one restaurant to the other in order to continue our food tours. Data roaming charges and hunting for Wi-Fi hotspots can be distractions from finding the best food spots on the go. Thankfully, we found the perfect solution that we wanted to share with you. Meet Aralo. Say goodbye to those annoying roaming charges with a 100% digital eSIM solution. Installing it is a breeze. Just grab your phone, download the app, pick your eSIM package, and you're all set. You're connected the moment you touch down in more than 200 countries and regions. There's no more waiting in line at an airport for a new SIM or dealing with multiple cards. And guess what? It's budget-friendly as well, with flexible packages and easy top-up options. Aralo beats traditional SIM cards and offers unbeatable value. Even better, Aralo is currently offering a special discount to get you started on your next adventure. You can get $3 off of your first eSIM purchase. So whether you're wandering the streets of Bangkok, munching on Turkish delights, or digging into Singaporean street food, Aralo keeps you connected. And you get to keep your original number too. So no missing out on important calls or messages from your friends and family. So whether you're a seasoned globetrotter or a newbie explorer, Aralo eSIM is your ultimate travel sidekick. Not surprising enough, Steve was still hungry, so we decided to have another food here because there are so many food stands here and there are so many choices. And this time, we're filling some pad thai. So this time, we're gonna have the pad thai with grilled shrimp. Uh, there are different kind of options. Let me ask them, what is your favorite food? They said the pad thai, of course. And of course, another lemon juice for goat chai. So this time we upgraded to seating kind of on, I wouldn't call them benches, they're like the rock dividers that are holding these trees up. The background looks like a photo montage here. I can't believe it. All right, now I'm gonna try this. So excited because it's been a while, the last time we had pad thai, and we're trying not to have it because it's like the most common food and you can try so many different things. Why would we have pad thai? But you know, when they said it's the best here, gotta try. It's really good. I it's bean sprouts. Oh yeah, bean sprouts and peppers and of course we have shrimps and with the lime juice it just tastes so good. I'm sure Steve's gonna love it too. I like the mix of the lime juice and the little peanuts pieces. It's just like a whole caramel in your mouth. Just a little bit of extra food. Exactly what I wanted. Hits the spot. We're gonna try it with the shrimp now. Cooked super well. Glad we didn't get it fried but apparently they like it fried here so your choice is yours, but it's juicy, cooked perfectly. I like it a lot. Okay, had our delicious pad thai. Now I'm definitely full. So we're gonna walk along the boardwalk and enjoy the beautiful scenery here in Patong Beach to head inland and eat some more food and see more of the Patong Beach area. All right, we finished up our day, walked around Rainbow Road and all the different areas of Patong, and now we have made it to Beyond Patong Night Market, and we're excited to keep going, have dinner finally, and have some delicious food, Kapum Kap, and my beer just got here. But we are going to try out two dishes and then hopefully finish off with dessert. We have Thai Pad Gai Lakao, which is fried basil with chicken and a side of rice or full well, rice underneath probably, as well as red curry shrimp. And of course we got it Thai spicy because you know when in Thailand you have to like the locals too. Cheers. Cheers, Dave. I haven't had my drink yet. This go kid got a margarita, I kept it simple with a beer. <laughs> There's just so much stuff that you can have here. Honestly, I wish we were coming here to eat every day because the seating area is amazing. It's lit up at night and there is so much here. And the prices are good. I think they have like a lime pieces here. It smells phenomenal. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Of course, the rice is... They don't make it with coconut, do they? No, it's like a plain rice, but... Steamed wow, rice, this, no. is, this is so hard to resist. Like, this just, oh, 
super mining. I can't wait to dig in. Red curry. Oh man. Oh, it's so good. You're gonna love it, Steve. You're just, yeah. Really excited to try this red curry. They're not joking when it says red. It is deep red and I like the look of it already. It's, it's gonna be good. So good, right? Holy cow. It's such a nice curry sauce and the vegetables in there are great. Can't wait to get to the shrimp too, but this is definitely Thai spicy. We've been trying to find Thai spicy in Phuket and Yam Won Sen was spicy as well and this is definitely kicking it up a notch. We're super happy we said Thai spicy. It's really damn good. Okay, shrimp with the rice, with the curry. Really excited about this. It's gonna be hearty night. Beyond my expectations, so freaking good. I can't wait to try. So far, my favorite is the red curry. Yeah, yeah. It was the same in Bangkok, right? Our favorite was red curry. Yeah, yeah. And tom yum soup and yum yum sum. I love it. Said it. This is very good too. And if you don't like spicy, this is probably better for you. Because it has basil in it, it has the vegetables, the chicken, the sauce is really good. And my mom can mix it with the rice. It's just really, really good food. But we love spicy food. So of course, we're more tend to eat red curry. Not for everyone. Just want to give the warning over there. Okay, so we got mango sticky rice, which is a Thai style dessert. It's probably their most famous dessert, honestly. And we put a little bit of coconut juice water on top of it. And I'm really excited because I've never had mango and rice together before, so let's see what it's all about. I would never expect that would go well together, but that was really delicious. It's on the sweet side for sure, but sugary, but wow. I seriously, never thought mango and rice would go together. That's awesome. All right, we are done with our food here. The dessert was delicious. All the food that we ate today was amazing. Cannot recommend checking out Thailand by checking out its food enough because it really is an absolute experience to eat the street food here and it's incredibly cost effective. So we are gonna head over to the bar street now to have a little bit of an adventure over there. But stay tuned, subscribe to this video. We're gonna check out more street food in the rest of Thailand. We have more Thailand videos coming and we can't wait to share them with you because this country is so beautiful, so amazing. There's so much to see. Stay tuned, see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, we're doing this, are we? I'm enjoying this pool by myself. It is so nice, so warm, and I can't believe how clean this is in the middle of nature. And it seems like a very popular spot among Thai people as well. Now it's time to explore Krabi's nature today. The sunset is incredible. It's so beautiful here.